All right, sorry for the late video. Um, doing this on my lunch break at 2.45. So late lunch, but had a bunch of meetings, and now we're going to try to give this a go. Um, got a couple of laps in. It's Since it is 2.45 in the afternoon, probably going to be a little weaker field than I normally get, but that's good. Um, maybe we can win it. I don't know. We'll see. These flat tracks tend to suit my driving better. Uh, not having to attack the corners, but we'll see. You never know. Got a new paint scheme that I've put on trading paints. It's a, uh, it's an odd one. I don't know if there's ever been a white Pennzoil car. I don't know if any special one-off schemes back in the day, but this is just a very, I don't know, it's really basic, but I like it. So let's real quick need to get dial the brakes back and try that. I didn't have time to do that. And then we'll take a look at the uh look at the uh paint scheme. Just want to make sure I'm not gonna loop it going into the corner in the race. But yeah, this one's up on trading paints and it is I don't know, it's really basic. Kind of a Joey Logano scheme that's on a board just because I've had time or felt like putting the effort in to get the noses of the other next gen cars onto the Arca template just because the nose is a massive pain on this thing. But I feel like it came out pretty good for it being just really a couple of stripes and a white car. I think I just like it because it's different than every other yellow Pennzoil car that you see. But we're the number three. And, uh, just gonna be easing it around the track and hopefully not have to fight too hard. I think that is one of my paint schemes ahead as well. But we'll see. Go P1 there right at the end just barely got quicker than what I had, so... Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the scheme real quick. And... So, yeah. Hood logo. Just removed all the yellow. Sides black stripes and red stripes and just the Pennzoil scheme with just or the Pennzoil logo with just the red bell no yellow and no circle and uh, yeah it's plain but I like it so we will uh, try to get a win with it I hope let's go qualify Spin out over driving on the warm up, trying to stay a little higher to get a run off. Just don't overdrive it, keep it up second and third groove for now, get lower later in the race. everything on entry and waiting for it to turn. That'd be 
easy on the throttle until you know it's going to stick. And, well, only P3. That's not a good sign. Cutting down out of the corner, see if we can get something here. Do not like to be P3. P4 now. Well, I might be showing you how not to qualify. Much better drive out of the corner. Get half a tenth, maybe. And that doesn't move us up at all. Fuck. Well, I underdrove the hell out of it, I guess. Um, so 775 and uh, starting P6 right now. Holy crap, we've got a lot of cars in here. So, uh, P6 right now might have the five go quicker than us. Um, well, that is a hell of a ping. What, it's taken two seconds for the guy to get his information to us and back? Yeah, he's fallen out. He's gone. There he goes. So, uh, waiting on the 5, the 7, and the 18 to put in laps, and we are going to be, looks like we're starting 6th unless this 5 car gets out there at the last minute. So 6 isn't as bad. I thought it was going to be worse, but you know what? It's a 2,000 strength of field. I mean, yeah, the back half is D3, D5s, not that great. So we got Greg, Benjamin, and Jimmy, at least, uh, know who I am. And Eric, she's doing a race at. I, like, I enjoy doing races at different times because it gives people a chance to get in videos. Uh, it's just crazy that I'm able to find this many people that know the channel. It's just, it's it's weird. So, um, P6. Starting on the outside. Good, maybe. We'll see what happens there. So, all right. So the two car is a viewer. Thirteen is a viewer. Greg is the eight. I don't think we'll be seeing him uh, unless some really bad things happen to either of us. But uh, let's do a quick refresh of the paints. Control R to do that. Just hadn't done that yet in since. I don't have it auto refresh on trading paint, so it doesn't do it in the middle of the race for some reason. Um, we're going to load them up now. So everything's downloaded right when you get in the server. Just double check that bias is back because we're going to need that. Hop in. One to go, next time by, line up on the outside. You don't get any extra tire sets for this race, so let's be smart out there. Alright, we're going. road is closed. Put session best up. So yeah, last night I wanted to get some racing in, but um, if you have been around this channel long enough, you know that every couple of months my neck just goes to crap. And... So I decided to just take a bunch of pills, sleep, and thankfully woke up this morning without 
as much neck pain. It's starting to come back, but just gotta get through a couple of days of it and it'll go back to normal and the muscles will calm down around it. I've been dealing with it since I'm since I was 14, so um yeah, I've tried every damn thing possible, and uh, sometimes nothing works, so. But luckily, be able to get a race in here, get a video out, and then hopefully get back to two videos tonight after I get done with work. But let's go try to get a good finish here. Oh, we got a bad start ahead of us, that's not... I don't want to go low, so we're just going to kind of ease in here. Ten's giving me lots of room. He could have got in underneath us, but he was patient and didn't really try to force anything. Six car heavy on the brakes on corner entry, and he's getting a little... Quickly, and he reacted to the car that was spinning that we weren't going to get near, so I'm going to go ahead and go for it here. He's going to fight back, but we're slightly ahead, and we're going to use up a lot at the bottom. Didn't mean to use up that much. He gets a little loose on the high side trying to fight back, and there we go, P3. Alright, now we can go back to running this straddling of the seam here. Watched Gavin's race last night, or this morning, yeah this morning, and uh, seen what line he was running until he decided that all the cars were going to wreck in front of him, and uh, yeah, he had some bad luck. I don't think we're going to get to the front. Uh, that's a long ways to go to get up there. I think we could probably get around the 12, even though he's quicker than us. He was right there with us in practice and out-qualified us. Uh, I feel like he might fall off pace with him only being a thousand nine hundred and a B license. But you never know. This could be his specialty. Some people are good at 1.5, some people are bad at them, some people do much better on the flat one milers. Just getting a little loose. My goal is not overdrive it. We got 40 laps. You start overdriving it, you start getting that right rear hot. And it's going to be very difficult to get it to come back. Looks like the leader got up a little higher and wanted to. Still fighting back there, trying to get past the six. Lap traffic up ahead, 17. No, 17's on the road. I don't know who the lap car, the 20. Alright, two cars past the six. Now he's got to get around the 10. I don't think the 10's going to fight him too hard. We're 
closing in on the 12 slightly. One car is still just blasting away in that third lane. He's got it working for one and two. We haven't really lost pace. There's not any fall off at the moment. Unless I really screw up the exit of the corner like that. Just letting it roll. Usually not something you want to do in iRacing, but just trying to let it roll through the center of the corner. 12 got hooked to the wall there. 10 is all of a sudden pushing. He's gained a bunch. I think I've been kind of trying to keep the gap to the car ahead, and he's slowing down, which is slowing me down. So maybe we push here for a moment. I think that's what was happening. Ten in the wall behind us. Just a little tap. Alright, setting up the pass is going to be a bit difficult. This car did not like entering lower there, so we'll try to take advantage of that. Looks like he's going to fight back on the outside. We got a little bit of a wiggle. Should be able to clear him here, though. Once again, I slide up a bit too much, scare the person out. Not meaning to do that, I'm just overdriving there, but luckily he backed off and lifted up the track just a little bit there, so that puts us P2. And we've got a long ways to go still. I don't think we're going to get anywhere close to the guy with 5,800 I rating. So the goal is now just finish ahead of the 2 and the 10. Because the 10 is not going away. He's looking fairly good back there. I've slowed it down just a bit there. Kind of let the tires cool off. Stressed them a tiny bit there, forcing underneath the 12. But he has definitely lost a lot of pace. I was just kind of running to keep the distance with them, and then all of a sudden everyone behind us started gaining. It's like, what the hell? I don't know where he's losing it. it if he's like, because it doesn't, he's not losing traction. I haven't seen him slide out. I think it's on corner entry. That slide up there that he's doing is costing him a lot of time. Ten's going to go for the pass here. They nearly get into each other off the corner. And they get into each other in the three. That's what I need. They're gonna battle for another corner. While they're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put in a lap here. T 
2's just stuck behind it. Nowhere to go. Oh, he's, I thought he was going to go three wide there. They are still stuck side by side. I mean, it's good that they're able to race this clean. Oh, he finally cleared him at a moment there. Alright, 1.4 seconds back. He's probably going to close that up. I'm going to go last lap on the Delta bar. Try, try a few different lines out here in 1 and 2. See if the late cut down gets me off the corner any better. Car's not tight or loose. I could probably use a bit more rear brake. Back to 57%. That extra rotation helped us through one. It'll help us a bit through three and four in the center. But, yeah, the one car's checked out. Only thing that's gonna let us catch him is a chicken streaker. And really, there's not a whole lot of people anywhere near being lapped. Just one guy ahead right now. Two cars are now making a move on the 10. going to hurt us on exit and all the way down the straight two has cleared it might be a one two three finish here two car looks like he's got quite a bit left in the tank one and a half seconds back keep an eye on that definitely not going to run the bottom because that or one exit down the back stretch. I used to really hate this track. It took me a long time to start enjoying this place. It's still tough. I still have a hard time hitting the right line just because I'm not going down to the apron like most ovals. You know how I struggle with tracks where you gotta run higher than the painted line, but it's a good track. It's fun. Can provide some really good racing. Next gen, I don't know how it's going to work. Could be uh, running a lot higher grooves. Might be downshifting twice. But hopefully it's one that we can actually get to feel okay. Haven't even started working on the Richmond set yet this week. But we are 1.6 still ahead of the two. So unless this thing just falls apart on us in the last five or six laps, looks like we should be able to hold on to second. And the 
ten is kind of battling back. Looked like the two just got really loose out of the corner. So maybe okay. It was a nice boring race, I guess. Only had to make a couple of passes. The pits. Not sure how long he's been there, but first time I've seen him. So he's had some issues at the back of the field. Next car is a lap car. started outside front row, we were not going to be able to keep up with the one. He's just checked out and still, still going. Two cars running a little higher than us. He's at 1.7. He's closed that back in just a little bit. We're 10 to go. Great job. 10 to go. Now, some people might start shifting at this point. All that's going to do is going to get you a little extra speed, but you're going to start burning up the rears and uh, spinning the tires off the corner. Like in the trucks and Xfinity, I never shift here. This, although it can get you a faster lap, in the long run, it usually ends up hurting your drive off the corner. It looks like straddling the seam on entry and exit and then kind of going up and letting the left sides get onto the seam in the center of the corner. That looks to be the way to get around here. The one and two, it seems like you can go a little higher. Oh, the E10, I think, just ate the wall back there on exit. But this track, it's all about how you come off the corners. That's that's where your speed's at. You can go as fast as you want into the corners and through the center of the corners, but if you're not coming off the corner fast, you're that's you're gonna be losing all your time down the straightaways. The car outside, clear outside if you want to. Uh, we are 7.4 seconds back from the leader now. Loss. Just a tenth. Getting around that lap car. The two seems to be falling off. He's had to fight a little bit harder to get up through traffic. pushing as hard as I am. But this place 
if you underdrive it, sometimes you can get yourself on a different part of the track and loop it. Like if you come off the corner way too low. Right front's starting to give out, even just rolling off the brakes, it's pushing up the track in the center now. Stay on the brakes a little longer until I feel the nose stop pushing up. Should have just been doing that the whole damn race because now we're back into 31 eights, 31 nines. Two point six gap to the two now. Something might have happened with the lap car or two, so. Yeah, so um Maybe try to avoid rolling through the center. Neither be on the brakes or on the gas. Uh, we'll just go ahead and say good win while we're going down the back stretch because that's how far behind the leader we are. Eight seconds later, we cross the line for a P2. All right, there's the ticket flag. What? Zero right, incidents. Did really well. No contact. Almost had contact with the 10 and the 6 when we were passing. But uh, let's go check out what all happened out there. It. There we go. All right, so this off the screen and let's see what we have. Got the seven car down shifting and self spinning. Forgot that one even happened. Yeah, don't downshift. It's just it's not going to help you in the long run, and well, it didn't help him in the short run either. And then. <laughs> he tries to get going. And guns it, and... Now he's bringing it to the pits. I think he has decided he is done. Four car gets... Let's see what happened here. 21 goes up high. And kind of cuts down. I mean, that's just racing incident. Then we got prediction code here. That wreck should have never happened. And uh, unfortunately, I think that was a 17. Nope, that's not a viewer. Or it might be a viewer, but um, not one of the people that said hi. But then he comes off the wall and gets to 15, and he just had a moment. And now, let's see. Is he going to run into the 15 now. All right, we just got to watch this because... Oh, God, he's going to push up and hit him, isn't he? Nope, he's going to go way low and loop it. Hit him, loop it, hit him, neither. All right. 15 has... Oh, my God. All right, so there was a big one. We did not know about it. 20 gets loose. 15, the whole track's blocked. So many people just squeezed by on the outside. Twenty-three gets lucky. The uh was it the fifteen? Was it the fifteen? No, it was the four that he picked the wrong way. He had nowhere to go, and gets through, but then gets hit a few times. 
Dom's running my paint scheme. And who else is running my paint? That's it. Or wait. No, that's not mine. Alright. What else happened? Ten car. Gonna grab the wall. Just prediction code. Thirteen. Yeah, he grabs the wall a bit. Ten's really fighting the wheel. He's got too much throttle and too much turning left there, and that's why he's starting to fall off. Driving in too hard. Got the nine working the outside and just working a little too high. And five. Just got back out of it just a bit. Oh, and then the seven, not ready for it. And the seven's got to be multiple laps down there as well, since he self spun 20 times. That was unfortunate. 15, into the wall. 10's fighting the throttle and wheel again. 18, it's gonna scrape the wall. 18 is gonna scrape the wall. 23 is gonna scrape the wall, and that's it. So let's take a look at the results real quick and get this video uploaded. Uh, so we get 49i rating back up to a 36, 9 safety rating almost back up to a 499. Um, we had second fastest fast lap, and we end up second, but 8.8 .8 seconds behind. We were not involved in that race for the win, even though we were in second. So by the time we even got there, he was six seconds ahead, and then he just continued to pull ahead further and further. But uh, fun race, good race. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.